I recall very fondly, you know, looking up to the skies and wondering what's out there. It gave me a sense of helplessness. We are just, you know, a small speck in the broader scheme of things in the universe. These are small moments in my life where I felt that I really wanted to do science to find out the nature of how we exist, to also understand how we can apply what we do know about the universe into things that we could actually use and make our lives better. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm co-founder and CEO of Eliana. Previously, what space was like, and the market was largely dominated by large satellites. They were expensive to make, they were expensive to launch. With the miniaturization of electronics, we are able to see that small satellites can be as capable in terms of performance and come at a fraction of the cost. And in order for these constellations to eventually execute their operations for extended periods of time, they need engines to put them where they need to be. We started Eliana in 2018 as a first-time founder coming from academia. It was very challenging for us at the start to raise funds. You know, raising funds was uh, something which was very new. We were literally thrown into the deep end and we were forced to struggle. At that point of time, we had a drawing. We understood how the science worked, how the physics worked, but we literally had nothing. And so we took our sketches, our simulations, going out to investors and say that, you know, we are confident that we'll be able to build something that will serve a market that is growing. But it takes a special sort of investor to give the nod of approval and say that, you know what, I think this makes sense. The market is going to grow. This is something that's uh, interesting that could serve various markets. One of those investors uh, was CapVista, who led our seed investment. The nod of approval was very significant in allowing for the catalysis of what eventually became an oversubscribed seed investment round. Where I would like to see a company in five to ten years is us emerging as a global leader and the provider of such systems to renowned constellations, also emerging space players. Eliana wants to set the market standard for propulsion systems in allowing for constellation flight as well as uh, flying at very low of orbit, enabling the missions for tomorrow. So I have known Aravind since freshman year of university. So we've basically been partners in crime ever since. When we came together and started trading notes on what we felt were the biggest problems in AI development, one thing became abundantly clear. It is really, really difficult to get enough high quality training data for training AI models. So we felt like there had to be a better way. And so Bifrost was born. Hi, my name is Charles. I am the CEO and co-founder of Bifrost. At Bifrost, we create 3D environments and we go into those environments and take pictures. And those pictures are what serve as replacements to real photographs. So rather than going out into the real world and collecting a bunch of real photos, instead, what you can do is you sit at your computer, you configure on the Bifrost platform what kind of objects, environments, and sensors you're interested in, and generate a huge amount of diverse imagery that way. We've helped NASA JPL train a Mars helicopter how to land on the harsh landscapes of Mars. NASA has a new mission concept, right, which is going to be a full-size helicopter. And one of the challenges that the helicopter has is that it has to figure out how to take off and land autonomously. And so what we did was we created synthetic Martian terrain that matched real geological distributions of Martian terrain, simulated a helicopter flying overhead, and then basically segmented and said that, okay, this bit is sandy, this bit is slopey, this bit is gravelly, all in pursuit of teaching that helicopter what different ground types looked like. So it knew how to land or take off safely. With deep tech, I think the elephant in the room is always how difficult is this product to build? So for us, I think it was really important to be able to build a world-class R&D team from the get-go. It's always really helpful to have really strong support from the ecosystem, from engineers around you, and also investors who understand your mission. Our early backers include people like Cat Vista, who took early bets on us, understood what we were trying to build in the long term, also making sure that we had access to potential customers, potential talent, or you know, other connections in the ecosystem that would be beneficial. The 3D worlds we generate to take pictures in and the tooling to scalably generate those 3D environments, that's really exciting. That's something people really need. And that's where we really want to go. We really want to be the picks and shovels, the infrastructure that allows people to build 3D content at scale. When I stepped into ASTAR, that was the first institute that I got involved in doing deep tech startup. I realized that over 90% of the technology is not commercialized. So my main inspiration is to see how to help commercialize the tech from the universities to bring it across the value of death to the commercial world. 
My name is Clarence. I, I'm the founder of uh, Origin Venture Private Limited. I've done my first startup in 1993. By next year, I should have been 30 years in startup business. About five years ago, I started Origin Venture because I've done too many startups, so I decided to take a step back. Origin, we are different from the traditional VC because we are a venture creator, we are not a venture capital. We are more to creating startup. We are talking about pre-seed. That means we are going in to the lab, to the universities with zero team. The only things we have is only the professors, the scientists, and we also venture build for the next 18 to 24 months to make sure that startup can go all the way to about pre-A. Then the VC will come here and take it forward. Capvista has been working with Origin for quite some time. They are our close partner on uh, Origin's uh, venture co-creation framework. This partnership is critical for Origin to identify potential deep tech for dual use applications. Commercial as well as the military angle, I think that, that will open up a lot of doors for our startup. If you ask me, I was when I, mean, I started this five years ago when nobody talked about deep tech. I would say the next five to ten years, it will be exciting and quite vibrant in the deep tech space because we heard a lot about fintech, blockchain. But I think the next five years to ten years, the exciting growth will be from the deep tech uh, space itself.